Today on Technically Speaking with Jim Wyckoff, we're going to take a look at where gold might be heading this week and more coming up. Jim, thanks for joining me today. Hello, Alex. Good to be with you. So, Jim, we got London closed today for a public holiday. Big week last week with the FOMC, ECB and jobs report. What, uh, what's gold looking like technically this week? Well, technically, Alex, uh, the gold bulls have been fairly resilient. Uh, we've worked prices up off of the April low, uh, been able to uh, work prices sideways to higher, and that is encouraging. My bias is that we have put in a near-term low and, and price action late last week where the gold market really held up well in the face of a strong jobs report. Uh, that, that was encouraging from a uh, bull's point of view. In your AM report, your daily AM report, you mentioned that uh, physical gold is being bought well, demand is healthy. Do you see that continuing? It looks like it's continuing, Alex. Uh, you know, the, uh, the buyers of the physical product, the coins and the bars, they're stepping in and perceiving these uh, present prices as value buying opportunities in the weeks, months and years ahead. There isn't much data coming out this week. What, uh, what's out there that could be moving gold? Well, Alex, we've got a uh, we had some uh, Israeli missiles launched inside Syria over the weekend. That could, if that situation escalates, it could become a uh, significant market factor. Could prompt some fresh safe haven demand for the gold market. So we'll have to keep an eye on that situation. Otherwise, it, it looks like a pretty quiet week data wise. And how about Europe? Is is there anything else that uh, might be coming out after the big decision last week? I did not see anything on the docket uh, major coming out of Europe following last week's ECB meeting, but we'll certainly keep a close eye on anything that might crop up. Sounds good, Jim. Let's wrap this up with your Wyckoff market rating for gold and silver this week. Alex, I'm giving uh, both gold and silver a 3.5 rating this week. Uh, specifically in uh, June gold, we've got solid overhead resistance at the $1,500 level. We push prices above that level and the bulls are going to gain some good upside momentum to suggest that a near-term price uptrend can be sustained. We've got solid chart support for uh, June gold at last week's low of uh, $1,439 and change. Uh, silver market sees solid overhead resistance at the $25 level, solid support at $23. Excellent, Jim. Thank you very much for joining me today. Can't wait till next time, Alex. And thank you for watching this edition of Technically Speaking with Jim Wyckoff. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to send them to newsfeedback at kiko.com. Also, don't forget, Kiko News will be attending the Metals and Minerals Investment Conference May 13th and 14th in New York City. You can register at the link below. And finally, you can follow me on Twitter, Alex underscore Letourneau, to follow the conversation. Thanks for watching.